Hello guys, and welcome to another one of my explores. On today's explore, I shall be going over to the Marcus Drive, over the Cannot Chase, and uh, ah, it started snowing. What are the odds of that? But uh, I've still got a plod on, see how far I can get. But where I want to go today, um, are the Marcus Drive. There's like a, a statue for the uh, RAF. Um, just a little bit of history here for you. Uh, back in the First World War, I'm sure it's the First World War, um, like a training area over there. And what they used to do, uh, they used to teach uh, pilots also how to fly the planes. Um, also, there's a training camp there, which I'm hoping to uh, see if I can spot it. But uh, right guys, let's go and find Marcus Drive. Here's a little uh, fun fact for you guys out there. If anyone's a Peaky Blinders fan, um, the Cannot Chase area got mentioned on one of the uh, first couple of episodes. Not sure what episode it is, but I'm sure um, Thomas Shelby or Arthur Shelby mentions about going over the Cannot Chase as when there was uh, little nippers but yes guys did you know that that's true palm right guys just want to show you a quick little glimpse of the view i'm walking past here that is part of the cannot chase area and yes it is still snoring a little bit but hopefully not loud Oh dear. But yes guys. Great scenery if you're walking up on the main road area. But just just make sure to be careful when you're walking up here. When I've had to just hop on the uh, road there because of the, that tree that was blocking the uh, path. Oh. Right, not far to go now. See you in a bit. Here we are guys. We are now at Marcus Drive. And yes, it's finally stopped snowing. Right, what's this statue here? Corpse was planted by members of the branch in proud memory of all who fought and died in the Burma campaign 1942 to 1945. Interesting. It's nice to uh, see things like that uh, for remembrance. Right, just checking to see the place. The place is quite busy today if you look behind me. It's quite busy. And uh, I don't want to get myself run over. Also, I'll be recording for you lot. Right. Getting my breath back, guys, because it's a long walk from where I had to walk from. Oh, good exercise, though. But yes, guys, um, for Marcus Drive area, uh, for the people from Canuck who know, it's known for like um, training in the World War. Uh, obviously, like I said um, before about the RAF, but uh, I know none of the, uh, the old buildings are here no more. It's, it's all being demolished. It is like just like a massive forest area now, but still, it's still nice to see the history of what once was stood around here. So uh, come and follow me and let's explore. Right guys, you see these little uh, wooden sticks here, um, you see like the RAF symbol at the bottom there and an arrow pointing upwards, follow those and they will take you uh, to areas where you can explore where like um, things used to be, um, obviously I'm going to look at the, uh, the big rock today um, of the RAF. Oh, there's a car coming, make sure they don't get run over. 
But yeah, I want to uh, go and visit that rock, take a few pictures of around there, then uh, work my way back round and uh, show you the old uh, camp, the campsite uh, that's still here. Um, I don't know if it's open today, but sometimes it's it is open f uh, for the public. But uh, we shall find out. Oh, oh yeah, I've got a bit of a glimpse of it there, of the camp. Right, zoom in. Can you see that guy's there? That is one of the uh, the campsite huts, which hopefully I can uh, show you guys later on on the way back round. And let's move on. Here we are guys, this is where we need to go. And look at that. Yes, the sun is back out shining. Perfect. I thought I chose the wrong day to uh, go on with the uh, snow as I was walking up the year uh, the road. What I'll do is guys, I'll uh, I'll show you the, uh, the sightseeing around here. And then we'll walk up to that um, RAF rock. And where uh, we're, we'll walk into in a bit. Uh, so sorry if you hear me sniff at my hay fever. I think it's kicked in early this year. But I do apologise if you can hear me sniff. But uh, yeah, as I was saying guys, uh, we're going to walk to in a bit now. The trees are oh, ahead of like curling together like a bit like an archway sort of thing. And it, it's, you know, it's nice to look at really when you uh, go for a walk to clear your mind. Even take the dogs or the uh, kids out. There we go guys. Well, where we need to go now, we turn left. Here we are. You see what I mean about the trees? Look at that. Hopefully we'll have a good summer this year. And maybe have a little picnic on uh, over here. Lovely. Right guys, before I uh, take it to the rock, I just want to make a quick turn to the right here. Now this big massive field where I'm taking you to, looking up on uh, the website and history books. Now I'm sure all this land here used to be where the plains were. I mean, it's quite a big, uh, big greenery land to be fair. And over there in a far distance, it's like um, a little benching area. From here, it looks like an outside toilet, but it's not. But over there in a far distance, um, I think it's remembering some, I'm not sure. I will pick up on my history, I will search a history about uh, more of this area to be fair. Uh, but yeah, that's where the planes used to be parked. I'm sure that's where they parked as such, yeah. But that's where there was, um, and this is where they used to do the training. And me, now it's just a uh, lovely greenery. Right guys. Now to the rock. Here we are guys. It's turning on our left. Shall take us to the big RAF rock. Oh wow, well, check this out. Someone's carved a little chair out of uh, what used to be a tree there. 
Let me fucking sit on it. What do you reckon, Game of Thrones or Game of Woods? Far oh, down now. Right. That's pretty cool though, to be fair, I do like that. Just over there where those people are walking. Tell you what though, I'm glad the sun's back out today for this. Turn down here. Yeah guys, if uh, any of my friends from the Canuck area, if you've got any history of the Marcus Drive area, please drop a comment down below. Or please visit my new Facebook page, Loot to Explore. And if you know any uh, more history of the Marcus Drive area, leave a comment. Or message me, I don't mind. Here we are guys. Here is the RAF rock. Not a piece of rock, but I think it's beautiful to me. I mean, it's a piece of history, isn't it, really? To say here Royal Air Force Hensford. 1939 to 1956. Nice. Let's get some angles. Gorgeous. Right guys, I'm gonna turn back myself now and take you to the campsite. Hmm. Could turn back round that way or go back round that way where uh, we walk from. Tell you what, let's go, let's go the way we came just so we can uh, see the uh, the lovely scenery of the trees again. And there's that field in front of us again of uh, where the aeroplanes used to be. Oh guys, I think I spoke too soon about the weather. The clouds are going grey again. Oh. I hope, uh, I hope it doesn't rain or snow. No, yeah, sorry, not to probably jinx myself. But uh, where are we coming to now, over here? I don't know if this used to be anything here, or if it's just plain uh, green land. Hold on, take it here now. What this area here? Was this anything? Uh, that was during the, the war. Or was it just used for like, you know, uh, in the summertime the kids come over here and do their activities, is it used for them? If anybody knows, let me know. Right. The sun's back out now, thank God. What's that there? Is that anything? No. Well, yeah, I shall turn around this car in a bit. And it should take us to uh, the owl campsite.
And yeah, guys, if anyone knows about this greeny, greeny area there, let me know. Was it used for something or is it just a bit of green land? Oh, I remember, guys, fell over wooden sticks with the arrows on. Remember what they're used for. Right guys, just coming up to the camping area now. Should be uh, Rennie's Corner. Oh, I wonder if that's anything. I mean, I don't know if that's his historical, if it's uh, I think it's part where uh, people used to put their bikes in. Not exactly sure. Oh yeah. Just to put your bikes in, but still, looks cool. Right, follow this trail. Well, just to let you know, um, we see people coming in at our buildings. Today is Monday the 12th of uh, April where things reopen from lockdown. No one's breaking in or anything just in case you wondered. Here we are guys. That is one of the uh, remaining campsites or camp hut sorry. Give a sneak peek round the back. Oh, looks like someone's been trying to, uh, yeah, break in. I'm not going to do it now. Let's be the back entrance. Let's walk all the way around. Here we go guys, the front. Here we go guys, the front entrance. And it's still closed. Right. Have a quick walk around. That is cool though, to be fair. Oh, what are these here? Is that for the staff members that work here, or is it some old, um, small old huts? I'm walking into things today, boomer neck. <laughs> I just walked into that tree for the twigs. Oh, I think it's just uh, for the staff, isn't it, by the looks of it? Or is it? There's another one here, look. Right, also, I'm not going to trespass. Some more things over there, some more. Is that another hut? Oh, is that an air raid shelter, that one there? If anyone knows, let me know in my comments. Hmm, interesting. Guys, gotta leave it there for today. Hope you enjoyed the uh, video and remember to like and subscribe. Cheers guys, have a good day, take care.